<laughs> yes, hi, Mr. Jones. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm Raymond. Uh, Raymond, uh, thank you very much for your time and, and uh, to see me. Yes, Raymond, fine. <laughs> uh, just allow me to, uh, to start right away. Um, currently, we have some challenges for our team. Uh, uh, we have some big reorganizations coming up uh, due by the many challenges of our uh, competitors and all that, and markets and all that. And we might need some help for that. Um, yeah, so what's this applied improvisation I've been hearing all about? Um, yeah, um, well, applied improvisation is really cool, and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really, because of spontaneity, you really connect with, with people, and, um, and it really is much easier, and you get more effective and all that, and because of the activity, there's a lot of safety, and... Uh, <laughs> Maybe you can tell one of those activities? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, just, uh, just imagine you stand in this circle, right? Um, and then you, uh, then you, you clap around, and you go all around, and, and also, you can, uh, you can also do boring, and then you can do boring. <laughs> so, in my talks with, with fellow improvisers, I feel like we're living in two worlds, right? So we have the, 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 this Mr. Mr. Jones, he's really uh, uh, result-driven. He's serious about stuff, he's, he wants to make things done, he's judgmental, he's, and all that. And, and then there, there, there's our world. We're connected, we're playful, we know the value of play, we, we feel it, uh, and all that. So, I think one of our biggest challenges right now is, is to, to, to bridge that. And that, that our clients will really, really sometimes need to be playful to, to let them experience that, and let, 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 yeah, let us do that. And one of the angles I found, there, there, there are many, is talking about playfulness. And with the playfulness you need to talk about the why, which is really very nicely put by, by Nancy just now. So, so it's it much easier to do the why. And also what remains is the how. How can we explain why we believe that this all works? That, it's, that applied improvisation is the way to get playful and that, that, that's a good idea. So, why playfulness? 20 years ago when I uh, would tell my clients that my training would be fun, <laughs> then it would be something like, yeah, we need to also to work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that changed. That really, really changed. And we have all this uh, interesting technique. <laughs> and we have all this, 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 this research backing us up. Right now, so see, I think it's uh, about 11 years ago that we know the value of happiness, that employee well-being drives profits. Yeah, we, we know that, and we can make that, uh, uh, make that, 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 that clear for our strategies. We're dealing better with, uh, with, with, with change. We have more creative strategies. It improves collaboration, it creates energy, and much more. So, what's left is how can we help people to be playful with each other? Right? So how do we help them with that? First one is courage. Right? If you're playful, if you want to be playful, you need courage. Because you'll stand out. You'll do things differently than, other, than, than others. So it's, it's courage. The other one is permission. Right? You need to have permission from yourself right? to, to, to play. You need to have a reason. And also you need permission from others. It's really easy to play with a child, because you can say, like, you're doing it for him or her. And it's also, also your culture. If your organization allows you to play, it's much, it's much easier. And many organizations do that now. We, know, we all know the 20% rule of Google. We all know that companies and organizations, they are spending time, they're investing time and money to, to let their employees play more. 
So, and the third one, the third factor which is important from, for, for, for play is having the skills and the mindset to play. And that's where improvisation comes in. One of the angles. So, um, one of the things, so, so I've been thinking a lot about how to explain improvisation to other people, how to explain improvisation to people who never heard of that before. Right? And on a rainy Sunday morning, I invented the plane model. And, and, uh, and since then, it really, really helped to grow my business. Uh, because it really resonates with my clients. It, it, it really is, it makes it much easier for me in a very basic, elementary way to explain what improv is and what it connects to in my clients' challenges. So, Play Model is an acronym. It stands for presence, being in the moment, being aware, being connected, being uh, uh, aware, connected to your clients, to your partners, to your market. At the University of Maastricht, the Center for Entrepreneurship, we teach our students to first go into the market, make the mistakes, uh, find out what their future clients need, and only then start writing the business proposals instead of first write this brilliant business proposal and then see if everyone, someone needs it. <laughs> so the other one's leaping into it. Right? If you leap into making mistakes, leap. Try out things and be explorer. And it also distincts two people, two, two, two kinds of people. People who are good in error recovery and people who are good in failure evasion. And I think we as improvisers, we teach, we train ourselves to be good at error recovery. Take a step, see what happens. Plan, do, check, action at the same time. Right? Then there's adaptiveness. This is about allowing yourself to be changed. Unconditional thing, right? Let it come in, see what happens, see what, what works. First accept it, and then process it. Fourth one in this acronym is uh, yes and. Yes and is not about the words. It what, it, it, it's what is represented by it. There, there's a confusion there, because yes is not about agreement. Yes is about acknowledgement and appreciation. They can be outside, in. And the end is about addition. It's about contributing. It's about taking the story forward. It's about taking the inside out. And it's the core of improvisation. It, it's why I'm able to stand on the stage for, for an audience, because I know that everything I do will be picked up by my fellow improvisers and will be amplified. Making me look good. Right? And that's the same for them. And the last one is impact. Uh -huh. Having impact, being passionate about how you do things. Uh, it's about protecting your ideas. It's about being great in leading or following. And this really, really helped me to grow my business, uh, to help my clients to let them realize a little bit on why improvisation is important and the value for them. And also, what helps is that it's, so, it is such basic, such elementary, that all the other principles we know come out of that. So making the other look good, being average, building the story forward, that's all based on this. So, let's play. And, um, you got any, any questions, sir? My God, that, that, that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you're hired, you're hired. <laughs>